Let's look at how to install the Fileboard package in Salesforce. You go to the Fileboard listing on the App Exchange, click on Get It Now. Let's log into the App Exchange. Now we choose Install in Sandbox. We will recommend installing first in Sandbox before you install in production. Once logged in, we'll see the content of the package. Essentially, we'll continue here. Click next, the screen. Right here, we can choose the access level. Choose the appropriate access level for your organization. Now the package is ready to be installed. The package has now been installed. and We just need to finish off the installation and configuration steps. We'll fill in this form for provisioning purposes. Okay, the account has now been provisioned. Continuing the customization process, let's now go to Setup. security controls and remote site settings. We add a new remote site. Save this. We can now customize individual account and lead views. We show this process just for the account view. We go to Edit Layout. Go to Buttons. We choose the file word Custom Buttons. So that is Present Now. Schedule a meeting and send file link. We also need to add a visual force page element. This keeps tracks and of all the live meetings and file links that are sent out. Here we go. We turn on the scroll bars as this list will tend to grow and we have now customized the layout and we can repeat this for leads view as well so right now our default board buttons are appear in every account in Salesforce and the visual force component which keeps track of live meetings and file links now let's add the file board tab Go. And our file board tab has now been added. Let's go to the file board tab. We authorize the sandbox. Since we have not uploaded a file, this is why we're getting this message. But let's first look at some of the customizing settings. We go to Salesforce. 
and right here we can determine what we want lead status and opportunity status to do once file links or live meetings are conducted, sent out or viewed through file board. So we can choose a number of status which is actually the Salesforce lead status as the default value when a live meeting or file link is assigned an account. When sending out an email, I can for example choose the contacted status. And if the content is viewed, then I could choose the qualified status. Whatever the customized lead status within your organization, FileBoard will display that here. So you can adjust that accordingly. And you can do the same for the opportunity status. The last thing we want to look at is once we go to setup and then go to email and my templates and choose FileBoard. This is the email template which will be used if you send out file links using the Salesforce email functionality with FileBoard. And you can customize that template right here. Look at that, and I can also edit the text depending on uh, the branding of my own organization. So that's it. That's all the steps you need to do to install the FileBoard package and start presenting and selling more.